French Bully Nation. This is OJ from JJK9 French Bullies. Just wanted to check in today and um, just go over a few things with you, talk about a few things um, pertaining to dog products, life in general, just everything all about, you know. Um, first thing I want to talk about is I know those French Bulldogs, at least my French Bulldogs, has those tear stains. So I've been trying to use this product called the um, Wrinkle Paste. This is what it is right here. I'm not endorsing it. I mean, it's not like they're paying me to endorse this. As I said before, a few weeks ago, been trying. It seems like it's clearing up a little bit, but um, I think I'm gonna have to use this um, paste a little bit more regularly. I've been putting it on like maybe once, twice a day. I think for now I'm gonna probably put the paste on every time I think about it as long as the paste that I put on previously has dissipated into their skin and stuff I just want to see if it's if I apply it more that it may um, clear up the stains a little bit better because that discoloration I really don't like it so again I'm gonna give you an update on what's going on with this in probably about another couple of weeks and see if it really works just don't want you, you know, wasting your money on something on a product that doesn't work. As I said before, they don't pay me to endorse a product. It's just something I'm trying out. If I find something that works out for you out there in the French Bully Nation and for myself, believe me, I'm going to pass it along to you guys. Um, second thing I have that I wanted to go over with, which I've talked to before, is the um, Blissful Dog Nose Butter. I use this here just in case the dog's... Um, Noses become dry, um, and some bulldogs' noses do become dry. I try to apply this at least once a week. Uh, once a week seems to be working out for me. I have not had to use it maybe like uh, two, three times a week. Once a week just seems to work out for me, so I tend to um, go that route with the times that I apply it every week. Uh, moving on to the next thing that I also use. I use this here, this Earwell. Um, ear wipes with aloe and eucalyptus recommended for dogs I use this here for their um, clean the ears and stuff with uh, if I, I use this also to clean where the tear stain is at before I apply the um, wrinkle paste so I just wanted to let you know that this is something else I use I'm not saying this is just this is the brand that you have to use this is just the brand that I chose and I caught it on sale so I decided to go ahead and use this here um, as far as dog food is concerned, I basically use the Verena Pro Plan, which I have right here. Let me show you. This is what I've been feeding my dogs, and um, I tend to give them a cup and a half of food as they're getting large, especially um, Zeus. Zeus is getting real big right about now. Seems like he's getting larger than my, uh, my female. It's getting larger than my female. He's kind of thick. He's got his little outfit on. When he comes by me, maybe I'll pick him up, let you guys kind of see what he's looking like. But he tends to be a boy. He doesn't like being picked up. He wants to get the wigglies and stuff and like try to jump out of my hands and stuff. But I got to hold on to my little man. But sometimes he does get to be a handful. Um, now, I have gotten some questions from people on um Facebook, uh, just different um, platforms that I'm on, and they are asking dis different questions about their dogs and the different things that their dogs do. Like I have this uh, one question that was posed to me was um, something about her dog like rubbing on their back. You know how some dogs are out in the grass and they rolling around in the grass and stuff, but this dog was doing it in the house. I'm on the floor, the carpet. To be truthful, my dog used to do that. That's when I was using that tea and flick medicine, tea and um, flea medicine. When I was applying it once a month to their to their back, and once I noticed once I applied it, she would immediately roll on her back and start um, trying to scratch her back because that medicine, I guess, it made her itch. So after I seen that happen, maybe I mean after two months, I discontinued it and I went back to giving um, her the pills. So I give both my dogs the pills that um, I give them to make sure that they're taken care of so they don't have that itching sensation that they usually get. If you happen to hear some noise in my background, 
it's because my two French Bulldogs, they tend to um, they tend to want to run around, jump across the couch. We let them go crazy on the furniture and stuff. Not too crazy. That's why I have them down here in the basement because if they're in the basement, the stuff that I have down here, I don't really mind them. You know, I'm not going to say I don't mind them tearing it up, but I'd rather them be down here in the basement than to be in my upstairs home um, tearing up my couches and stuff up there. Down here in the basement, it's kind of assumed that they're going to do things like that. So if I have company over or something like that and they see, you know, the basement uh, furniture is a little bit worse than what's upstairs, then they know it's because I have two dogs. I let them kind of run around down here, but I don't let them run around upstairs more. As a matter of fact, I really don't even have them upstairs. I tend to have them more so in the basement. This is kind of like their little play area where I have their um, tray set up, their food, all of that. So that's just something that I do to kind of keep my household, you know, looking like a house. They're not looking like some dogs just running through here, tearing up everything. Um, nothing I'll speak about. I know my dogs... When they sleep, they snore. French Bulldogs, they're notorious for snoring. They snore a lot. Yeah, I kind of tease my wife sometimes. I ask her, is it the dogs or is it hers doing the snoring and stuff when we sit, when we lay in the bed? <laughs> she, she probably wouldn't like that right about now if she was to see this part of the video. Maybe I should get rid of this part. No, I think I'll keep it in there. My wife loves me. I love her too, and she knows I'm not doing anything but playing. But, um... Like as I said before, they tend to snore. They're real big snores and stuff. Um, as I said before, if there's like questions that you guys have for me, uh, please feel free to um, feel free to drop your questions to me. I also have a Instagram. My Instagram is JJK9 French Bullies. The same thing at Instagram. If you have any questions there, please feel free to ask uh, ask questions there, and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, yeah, like I said before, this is going to be a learning experience for the both of us. Um, I've been waiting for um, Harley to come in her second heat, which that hasn't happened yet. Seems like Harley's a late bloomer because, um, let me see. She came to her first heat around 12 months. Now she's, I want to say probably 16 months, and she still hasn't came into her second heat. I think, I'm not, I don't think, I know she's mature enough to have... Um, pups now so that's what I'm waiting for now and obviously I'm waiting for Zeus to get a little older um, I've been hearing so many different things about when you can start studying your um, male French Bulldog I've heard anywhere between 8 and 12 months and stuff I'm thinking probably maybe 10 or 12 months I'll I'll start studying Zeus out Zeus is a uh, he's a thick he's thick and he is really um how would I say uh, he's really strong. I tried giving him a bath the other day. That little fella he basically jumped out the uh, out the bathtub on me. I had to catch him and kind of like just you know put some of my strength into making him get in the tub. But I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I might just want to take him to the <laughs> to the groomers and let the groomers deal with him. <laughs> He does not. He does not like having his nails trimmed. He don't like baths and stuff. He's just like any other male dog that don't like water. But as you know, they get in so much mess and stuff. You tend to have to. Um, you have to do that. You have to give them a bath every once in a while. I know it's not um, suggested giving them a bath a lot, but you know, hey, um, how would you like to walk around? for weeks or weeks at a time and not have a bath, you know? I tend to want to give them baths. Another thing, I was looking online and I noticed um, if you live in the Midwest, specifically Illinois, you may want to be careful with your French Bulldogs and taking them out and about and stuff because I was reading a post online about a gentleman had taken his dogs taking his French Bulldog out and luckily he had another dog with him a um, more aggressive dog I don't remember if it was a pit bull or a Rockweiler or something but I had read something where um, some guys when he was some guys tried to jump out of the car and take his dog um, take his French Bulldog so that's just a shout out to all you guys here in Illinois and pretty much all over the United States be careful with your French Bulldogs and stuff because that's a designer dog and People are out here trying to steal them 
um, and they don't care if they hurt you or kill you or anything. Luckily, the guy's all right. His face was a little bruised and stuff, and the other dog, um, from what I read, he bit one of the uh, one of the guys that was trying to take the dog. He bit one. That one started crying because I guess he ran off. The other guy tried to um, tried to come up and take the dog, and I guess the dog protected his owner. But um, yeah, be careful. Be careful out here um, with these these guys out here. Guys out here just don't have no common sense. They just want to take something. They don't want to go out there and work and earn it. They want to take it from other people that has to sit up here and work a regular nine to five job. Me, myself, I'm still working a nine to five job. That's why I don't shoot my videos as often as I would like to, but I'm gonna still try to get on top of it and shoot more videos and stuff and provide more content. I wanna be that, um, that person that you come to when you have questions about French Bulldogs or um, talking about their health, talking about feeding them, talking about you know keeping them clean, just different things like that. I don't see many, um, many foot, many French bulldog owners with YouTube channels here in the Midwest. I'm not saying that they don't exist. I'm saying that um, me myself, being African American, I don't see many of them out there doing it. So I said, if they out there, congratulations, I'm pulling for them. But um, I'm thinking maybe I want to try to be another voice on here given a different perspective from um, a black man's point of view. I mean, I'm not saying that there aren't different points of views, but I think maybe I might be able to connect with my audience. Plus I'm a little bit older. I'm not like a younger kid and stuff. I'm a little bit older, I think more mature. So I would like to please to all ages, not just um, you know the older people. I wanna please to younger people. I want to create a following. I want you guys to come and view my content. That's what I really need from you guys. I need you to go over to my YouTube channel at JJK9 French Bullies and go ahead and view some content. Uh, I really like to um, get my hours up and with your help, I'm quite sure I can. i um, hoping to create my, expand on my French Bully Nation. Uh, everybody has French Bullies. I basically want you to go to the YouTube channel and subscribe and watch my content, help me get my hours up. I just wanna be able to provide information for you guys and you guys provide me with feedback. Um, the other week I was talking about something online and I was talking about um, Stud and Zeus out and one of you guys came and told me, hey, that I should probably wait till around a year before studying out Zeus and um, that's some good information. After I went and did some more research found out that there is a like a span between eight and um, 12 months that you want to stud your um, boy out. But then again, they said there are certain things that you can find out like sperm counts, things like of that nature and stuff, which you can go through your vet and make sure that their um, sperm is strong. Um, I've been looking at other YouTubers and stuff and um, shout out to Tommy from um, CB Kennels. I watch him a lot, try to learn a lot from him, and I watch other YouTubers. Um, again, I know I want to say a big shout out again. I know I said it before in my last video to CJ on 32s. Uh, he's a really cool guy. I really like him. He's younger than me, but I've always been attracted to hanging out with younger guys. I mean, I don't know what it is and stuff. I try to stay up on all the lingo. So when um, I'm talking with other guys, I'm talking with younger guys younger than me. I pretty much understand what they're saying, you know, like the different phrases and things of that nature and stuff. So if I don't know what the word means that you're um, bringing across to me, then I'll do my best to go to try to find out kind of like this, the, the information that guys, the younger guys are talking about now is the same stuff that we older guys talk about um, back in the day kind of like the phrase no cap now like no lie basically there's no lie there's different phrases that you use for it but you know hey as time changes the wording changes but the meaning still remains the same um as i said before i want you to guys to go to my instagram page that's um jj uh, k9 french bullies on instagram